<clears throat> so I watched the first episode of the Orville. Good man, so did I. I also oh, watched what, the second what did, episode of the Orville. What, what did you think? Um, I thought it was very um, emotive. I thought there was, you know, some big deal going on there. I thought it was perfect Star Trek. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look upon my works and despair. Only there's nothing left beside it except empty desert. I absolutely, to be honest, adored it. <laughs> so, uh, but I love the Orville. I love that show. I love Seth MacFarlane. Let's give this everything we got, and may the force be with you. How was that? Perfect. I thought it was very well thought through, um, but the second episode is better. Something happens in the second episode. Oh, okay. So I really thought that you know the first episode was you know like it felt like last season, you know, mm -hmm. and. Um, and I was really shocked at again the Twitter social outrage, the the the, the accusations of wokeitude applied Woke. to oh, the, Fox the, News. Fox News did a whole twenty minute segment on it. Really? I'm just like, yeah. I'm just like, yeah. They, they talked about some serious issues, but it was fallout from what happened in the last series. Yeah. So the whole battle, the whole thing with Isaac, there was it, it's not like it was for no reason that they were talking about suicide. There was a logical path towards what happened. You're a Kalon. Your people would like to see us all dead. And and it was trying to deal with everyone's shock and yeah. you know, trying to process what had happened. Um you know, don't ignore that. I thought it was quite realistic and quite um quite powerful. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's, you know, and I heard a lot of the story from the this uh, episode of the Orville. I've heard from um, U.S. veterans from the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. It's like, mm. oh, I've heard this story before. Well, I've heard those feelings before from other guys. You know, it's like, yeah. mm. it's like I've seen this episode before, but it was kind of in real life, but without the spaceships in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, I think it did treat. <clears throat> It did a good one for, you know, the issues, the, the really complex issues surrounding suicide. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, that, I, I think that's what made it a great episode. Um, I really love the, the um, budget. Um, I think the sets are really up. When our enemies don't. Captain, you are being deceived. I thought the only thing that was a downside for me, that whole thing with the new fighter, I'm hoping that's going to be important later because they spent a long time. They did using that little thing and flying it around. And I know that was also to do with that the woman could do the five dimensions or whatever. You know, right. it was supposed to introduce her a little bit, but that went on a while. And that was the only thing I would say. Um, the I know I want episode, one. Oh well, yeah, I want one, but it took a long time. The second episode, I won't spoil it for you, but it is classic Next Generation sort of. Um, sci-fi. It was absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. If you like Strange New Worlds, you're going to love this, basically. So, um, Who needs Strange New Worlds when we've got the Orville? And everything's different on this side of time. That's yeah. Well, you know, that was the other thing I watched. I got, I got caught up on the Strange New Worlds. Um I, I, the, the thing that really drives me to, to just absolute distraction is, is Pike's haircut, man. Yeah. I mean, he, I mean, that's gone to places where no man has gone before. I mean, it is, it, it is a tower of. Yeah. He's been working out as well, but I, I think that's the modern um, thing of Star Trek, isn't it? And that they've invented a hair gel in the future that can actually handle that, um, which is phenomenal. Um, he spent a lot of time working on that hairdo, considering he's supposed to be a captain. You'd think he'd be busy. He also works out a lot. I've seen the last episode, and he's got some pecs, boy. Wow. You know, and during the, 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 the first episode of this, you know, he's riding around, you know, in the snow on a horse, and he kind of had this Grizzly Adams thing going. You know, it looked really good at it, but it did, he didn't have the Tower of Pisa, you know, leaning mm -hmm. off to the uh, over his right eye. It was... 
the story was great. I mean, it, it was awesome, you know. <laughs> and, and but it was like Pike, man, tone Dude, that down man. a bit. I tell you what else I've been watching though, and I'm on the fourth episode of The Boys, which is a TV show I have to watch away from my wife because um it says the see you next Tuesday word a lot, and um she mm. hates that word. Oh, that word, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, um I, I I just love that show. That that show appeals to my childish side quite a lot. And then <laughs> that blew up because <laughs> like, 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 it, it appeals to that side. Um, and it's one of those series that every so often you go, yeah, I can't believe they're doing that. Uh, and I'm and I'm watching it. <laughs> it's like, thing. but um, I love that show. It's um, it's it's just ridiculous enough. But also, if we'd really had superpowers, it's also like like, yeah, human beings are that scummy that we would actually do that if some of us had superpowers. So it's like, um, but I love that series.